Good evening, everyone. Thanks for tuning in for your news at 6 tonight. I'm Joe Martin. In our top story, the search continues at Pillar Falls for Austin Carey, a well-known base jumper in Twin Falls. Today, the Jerome County Sheriff's Office let us be part of the search. And putting you first, we want you to realize this is delicate information as a family grieves for their loved one. KMBT's Elizabeth Hadley shares the dangers search and rescue e uh, efforts are faced when uh, tragedies occur. The Jerome County Sheriff's Office, as well as search and rescue teams from Twin Falls, have been working long hours and days in hopes of finding closure for a man that went missing days ago. Sheriff Opadike says recovery efforts have not been successful in the main channel. So since we started uh, Thursday night, we've just continuously mapped this whole thing with the sonar and feel pretty confident that he's not in here because he would have, we would have seen that. Even though it gets deeper here, um, an object that big is going gonna, gonna to stand out. The Bureau of Reclamation was able to help efforts by lowering water levels significantly. However, there are areas simply too risky and safety is the sheriff's number one priority. Just looking at throughout the thing, you can see all the different little tunnels that have been bored in there just from the water pressure. If it looks like that up top, I'm sure underneath it's probably even worse. The sheriff says in past drownings, the current of the water will force people into the cove, but they will continue to do everything they can in hopes of giving the family closure. Elizabeth Hadley, KMVT News. Now, both the Jerome County and Twin Falls County Sheriff's Office, as well as Twin Falls Search and Rescue, have been working at the scene. Today is day seven of the recovery effort.